Okay, I wanted to show you how to do the Florida map project. The directions are right here. Basically, it says you need to click here to download and then follow the directions on the actual download. Um, you can read the directions for yourself. Once you click on the click here button, it opens up a PowerPoint that looks like this. You click enable editing to be able to edit this PowerPoint. The first three are informational and you will need all three including this web link to complete the project. The fourth one gives you directions and on the fifth one you actually follow those directions. So for instance label the name of Florida State Capitol. Well then you would go here's the capital because it has a star on it. Click insert text box and then next to the star you would type the name of the capital. I'm not giving the answers away though. And you just click and drag. If you click on the little lines of the box you can drag the words wherever you want. Um, there is one that makes you label this. There's one that makes you label this. There's one that makes you label this. And you'll follow the same directions to do that. Click the insert tab text box type the label and then once you've typed it you can click and drag it if you click on the box. Um, there's also one that wants you to um, identify or label a portion of Florida. What I would like you to do is go to the shapes under insert and then shapes. There's an arrow that you can have. Take the arrow and click and drag it and that would let you point to whatever you want to on the map if it's here and you can use these little bubbles to turn the arrow around and point somewhere else. I click on the arrow and I can point wherever I want. So if I want to point to something and then identify what I'm pointing, I click insert text box and then I'm going to type what I'm identifying next to the arrow. So you can pretty much figure all of this out. The one thing that I know is going to be a bit of a, it might be a bit, a bit of a struggle, locate, no rather, label and locate the most famous visited tourist city in Florida. I'm going to give you a hint if you don't know it. This website right here will help. Once you have saved, once you've done all the directions, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven directions, I want you to save it. So go file, save as, and then I pick desktop, desktop is where I have my social studies folder. I made it in the last video. I'm gonna just change the name of this, keep what's already there and put my last name. So then the teacher knows who made it. Click save. So now I know where I put my assignment. Before I turn it in, I'm gonna click here in the bottom. It says click here to review the rubric for this project. The rubric lets you know what grade you're going to get. So what you want to do is enable editing and like I showed you in the last video, you read each one. Florida State Capital. Student named the capital and correctly placed it near its actual location. I usually highlight it and then give it a color if I think I got that grade. All of these, let's say you get all fives down the front, that's 35 points. The top here it says 15 points are awarded for neatness or appropriate use of technology. So if you decide to print out your project, and with a pencil, label all the different parts. You will get 15 points if you are extra neat. If you decide to do it on the computer with these labels here, uh, make sure that I can read the words that you put on the screen. And you'll get 15 points because it's easily read and you used technology appropriately. So there's 15 points for that. You can count up all of your points and divide by 50 up here at the top and you'll know what your grade is. Um, once you've saved your assignment, which we know we did, come down to the bottom and click Add Submission. And then go down to the bottom and click the plus button for the file. Upload a file. Browse. And I know where I put mine. Desktop. Remember we made a folder, Social Studies. And it's called Florida Map PowerPoint Activity. I'm going to click Open and then Upload. If I've done it right, it shows up right here, and I click Save and turn it into the teacher. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please ask.